Okay, once you download the Moodle app on your phone, uh, the first time you open it, you're going to be greeted with a screen like this. And you're going to want to put in an address. And that address is read right here, https colon forward slash forward slash moodle.collegeunbound.edu. It'll give you a couple different options. The one right at the top, which is connect to your site, is the one you want to select. And then once you are here, it's going to want you to log in using your credentials. So again, you may be tempted to put in username and password, but what you want to go to is right where it says Google. Log in using your account on Google, right at the bottom. You select that. It's going to ask you your account. Um, and so this is where, if you aren't already logged into Google on your device, this is where you would want to log in using your College Unbound credentials, which would be your uh, first name, last name, and at College Unbound, your, basically your email. So you select that. Once you show up, your screen will look somewhat like this. You won't have all of your, you won't have all these courses here. What you will have is the course that you are currently enrolled in. Um, so that might end up being something like the intro to org leadership class. And so you can simply click on it and now you can go about, and you'll notice it will provide you with this little like walk through how to learn different things. Um, you can just select got it. So you can kind of go through the course here. You can click on that little menu in the bottom right corner. And this gives you the course index so you can move around. Uh, where you see the week one, week two, week three, if you click, if you uh, press on the little, um, the little sideways V next to each week, if you click on it, it gives you a drop down menu. Uh, green means you have already done it or you have already looked at it. If there is a circle, a, a white, a circle with nothing in it um, to the left of the item, it means you still need to accomplish it. So as you can see, there's some things in here I've finished and other things that I've had. Uh, if I want to move out of the course index, I just select the X in the right upper corner. And then I can also move over to grades. I can go into info and see if there's other information or things I should know about this course. Uh, if I want to download the course so it's here on the phone rather than me always having to use my data, I can select that little cloud with the downward arrow to the left of that uh, circled eye. Uh, so I can move about. I can go to into any of these pages and take a look at them. So if I want to look at the week one agenda, it provides me with anything, any of the things that are uh, blue and underlined or links. At the bottom, notice I can move from previous to next activity. So if I forgot what was, or if I wanted to know what was next, I can select that next and it brings me to um, this document. So that's largely how you can uh, use and play around with it. If you go back to your home area, just know there's a couple other features you can play around with. You're at your dashboard, but if you wanted to play with your profile, you would click on the circle in the upper right corner in mine. It's a, uh, a bitmoji of myself. And when I do that, it gives me my user account, which means I can look at different pieces. Um, I can go into my profile and I actually can edit it and put in a photo if I want. Uh, so I have a lot of different options to play around here. If you see this little um, arrow in the middle of the screen on the right, if I, if I select that, it also pop, pops out what have I recently accessed. So if there was something I went to and I want to go back to, I can actually very quickly take a look at that. Uh, and then finally, down the bottom, you have the three dots. And again, here it gives you a little bit more information. You may not have those since this is more of a, um, uh, this is more for the admin. But down below, app settings might be useful where you can adjust different pieces, whether it's notifications, um, text size, uh, how you want to, you know, just just a couple different options that help with how you want to manage or play around with or have this app on your phone. All right, so hopefully that was that was useful information. Um, if you have additional questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. All right, thank you so much.